Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And we're coming to you with another episode from yours truly, Thomas James Rolls Carpenter. Uh, what we're going to be doing right now is just uh, preparing up some butter that we're going to be using for a meal that's, uh, that I'm going to make later. Basically, uh, I need to get some butter ready for these escargot that I'm planning on making. And uh, I also need the butter to stuff the inside of uh, this chicken that I got thawing out here. So, but uh, essentially it's gonna take a few minutes for me to get all of that ready. And uh, honestly, it's probably gonna take just about a whole video just to show you the beginnings of how to get this all set up. So I figure I might as well just do that. Um, so, let's get to it. First off, uh, I just need to get some butter. And, uh, put it into a bowl. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna need a fair bit here, because I gotta... I gotta do both the chicken and the, uh, the snails. Um, basically what I'm doing with the, uh, with the snails, the escargot. That's what escargot is, snails. Um, I'm gonna be getting some mushrooms. These mushrooms, in fact. Uh, just some big white mushrooms. We're gonna be, uh, putting those, uh, inside of a muffin tin. And uh, filling them up with, you know, some of the, some of the, some of the butter that I'm making, and then dropping in a escargot and letting them bake with some cheese and stuff for a couple minutes, and then with the rest of the butter, I'm uh, stuffing it under the chicken skin so that it tastes delicious, essentially. But first things first, butter. Let's get a bunch. And uh, so next, I figure we're gonna need some garlic. So, garlic, you probably won't need that much. You'll need about maybe that many cloves, because that's how many I have left, which I'll just start chopping these up a little bit here. Um, you don't want to have the skin on them for this, I don't think. It doesn't sound delicious. This is compost. Uh, you can't even see what I'm doing. How boring is that? Get you a little closer. This is certainly going to be an awkward video. All right, pretty good, pretty good, good enough, anyways. So I'm just giving these a quick crush here. A quick crush? I believe I said that right. Makes the skin come off pretty easily from the uh, garlic. Yeah, without too terribly much difficulty anyways. But then again, I'm not really in a particular rush because this is gonna take about 10 minutes. I don't know if you knew this or not, but the reason I keep saying I have to keep these about 10 minutes long is because uh, YouTube changed their 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 algorithms, I guess, this is what I'm told, so that it, it gives preference to longer movies when showing them to people, you know, friends and family and whatever. And the longer ones get preference, so I figure I might as well just uh, not bother trying to fight a computer program and just do what they want. All right, so we got some garlic. You know, I think we need more. Because I love garlic. It's good for you. Sure. 
crush it with the palm of your hand too. It works just as well as a knife. Especially for big ones. Smaller ones might be a little easier with a knife, but it seems to work okay. So it looks like we've taken up about half of our time literally just peeling garlic. That's crazy. All right. Well, I guess we got some garlic talk out of the way too. Let me show you how we do a little bit of this. Now, I'm just gonna give these a really, really rough chop because I like chunks of garlic myself and I'm gonna be eating all this, so. Uh... Apparently there's a specific way you can hold this where you got like one knuckle in front and then two behind. Something something like that. I don't know. I'm not very good at it myself, but uh, I try my best. It's a safety thing, but uh, I mean, be attentive to where your blade is is really the most important thing because essentially don't get distracted by a camera or something when you're uh, using a knife would probably be the best advice I could give somebody. So we've got some garlic chopped up uh, really, really roughly here. You know. Just super roughly chopped. Which will be perfect for me, because that's what I like. I like biting into chunks of garlic. We're gonna throw that right into the bowl with the butter. That'll be lots. Should be, hopefully, anyways. Now, here I've got a powder. It is custom. I made this. Uh, I ground it up with a mortar and pestle. This one here, actually. And what it is, is thyme and rosemary and uh, little basil, I believe. So anyways, we're gonna dump this in here. Now, because I, I ground it up myself, it's it's actually quite potent and very fine. Now, I actually grew the rosemary and the, uh, the thyme myself, but since this is getting slow cooked with everything else, we'll leave it relatively strong. You can smell it a lot. Uh, now we got to mush this up a little bit, so I'm just going to grab a fork. Oh, this butter is hard. Probably a good thing I grabbed a fork. And get to break it up a bit. Not quite room temperature, that's alright. So, I'm probably not actually going to mix this entirely immediately, but this is the general idea. I very well might throw it in the microwave for a second here, although it is coming together pretty nicely. Now that I'm just working it a bit, chunks of garlic are getting distributed with the, with the seasonings. spread out pretty nice. Now, obviously when we cook all this, it's gonna get melted anyways. So it's just kind of important to spread everything out at the moment to at least relatively consistent chunks, pieces, doughy, whatever. It's pure 
butter, but it looks so good. But as expected, this did take a full 10 minutes to do. And we're almost done here with as good as it's going to need to be. All right, so that's butter, seasonings, and that is gonna be absolutely delicious. But we'll show you that on the next episode, what we're gonna do with it now that we've got it. Talk to you later.